guys, welcome back to the channel. Well, today we're gonna be doing something that has a lot of controversy around it, and that is scaping out a fish bowl. Now, when I say a fish bowl, I am not talking about these kinds of fish bowls. These kinds of fish bowls are terrible for fish, for sure. Number one reason is there's just not enough room for them to swim around. There is way too little bit of water in there, which means that the bio load gets too high and fish get sick from all the nitrates and ammonia and things of that nature. When I'm talking about a fish bowl, I'm talking about fish bowls like these. These are amazing fish bowls. These are fish bowls that you can actually set up and and do it safely where it is ethical and the fish can totally survive and not only survive but also thrive. So this is what we're going to be doing today is setting up an ethical fish bowl. If you haven't noticed I've got a really big head and this is probably really echoey I don't know. Now there is a common misconception that bowls cause eyesight problems in fish. Well I'm telling you now I'm looking around and there is no difference in having my head in this bowl compared to having my head in this aquarium right here. Looking around, there is literally no difference from an eyesight perspective. And I would like you to personally know that I checked every bowl at the store when I picked out this particular bowl to make sure that there was no distortion in my eyesight within this bowl. With all of that, let's get into this today and see if you can truly safely and ethically keep a fish in a bowl aquarium, better known as a fish bowl. Let's get into this. Now the first step to proving that this is an actual ethical setup is we want to see exactly how much water this bowl actually holds. What I want you to do is if you actually know how many cups are in a gallon, make sure you go ahead and drop a like on this video right now before I tell you. So in case you did not know, well, there are 16 US cups in one US gallon. And right here we have a measuring cup that measures out to eight US cups. And now that you know how many cups are in a US gallon, make sure you go ahead and drop a like as well. So let's go ahead and start pouring this in here and see exactly how many gallons this bowl is. So your standard fish bowl that you buy at a big box store is exactly one half gallon, which is eight US cups. That right there is one half US gallon. So let's continue to fill this thing up and see exactly how much we have in here. All right, well, as you can see, this thing holds almost four entire gallons of water. So this bowl is completely cleaned out. Let's get this thing in the fish room and start scaping this thing out. All right, the first thing we need to do is figure out what our scape is going to look like. And we're gonna start that with our hardscape. So what we're gonna be using is the same substrate that we've used in a couple of these last builds. And if you haven't seen those builds, make sure you go check those out. I'll show you a little clip of each one of those right here. So we started out by scaping this really cool wild caught epistogramma tank. And then we went on to scaping out this really cool, fully scaped planted betta tank for our king betta or giant betta, whatever you wanna to refer to it as. So that's, that's been the last couple of videos. So if you haven't seen those, make sure you go back and check those out. All right, so back to this video, we've got a little bit of substrate as the base layer here and we wanna see how this sits because we want this to sit up a little higher because of the way we're scaping this. All right, now let's go ahead and get some water in this thing. All right, well, we have this thing set up. We have a couple of more things to do real quick. Number one, I need to clean this glass off. And in order to do that, I'm gonna use some of this wonderful API safe and easy glass cleaner as this stuff works fantastic on both the outside as well as the inside of your aquarium. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take this and spray it directly onto a paper towel here. And we're just gonna start cleaning the outside of this tank off. We don't need to clean the inside. 
because it is already been done before we set this tank up this will give us a nice crystal clear finish here all right guys well let's take a look at this thing real quick this is a very heavily planted bowl tank and if you look right here i know you guys are going to ask there is in fact a heater it's a low profile beta heater right there currently set at 76 degrees which is a perfect temperature for bettas so looking at this we have this little bulb here in the front we have the little anubius nana petite up here we have these little tiny bulbs right there which are a red lotus as well as a dwarf lily then we have a little bit of ambulia here and you can see right behind it, we have some of that wisteria. And then looking from the top up here, you can kind of see right back in there, we see some of the red and green, and then you can actually see it right there as well. And that right there is some of the broadleaf Ludwigia. And this tank is completely set up. And at this point, the fish has complete room to swim around the backside of this tank, through the branch, up underneath the branch, around this way. So right now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and treat this water. Now I will tell you, anybody that's been watching my channel knows that I care more about the fish than the YouTube video. So therefore, I'm going to be keeping a very close eye on this bowl with water tests and everything else to make sure that it is truly a healthy environment for this fish. If I find that it's not, then I will get the fish out of there and I will get it into something that is healthy and allows the fish to thrive. So make sure you stay tuned, make sure you subscribe and you stay up to date with how this particular tank goes and whether we keep it around. We're going to actually go ahead and treat this water with two things. Number one is we're gonna treat this with a dechlorinator. Number two is we're gonna go ahead and quick start this tank and then we're gonna let this tank cycle naturally for three or four days while we ghost feed it. And we're gonna be testing every day before we put a fish in here. So with that, let's go ahead and get this water treated. First step is so we're gonna go ahead and treat with this Stress Coat Plus by API in order to dechlorinate all of this water. What I'm doing here is just mixing the water up to make sure that the dechlorinator makes it all the way around the tank. And what we're gonna do now is go ahead and move to the next treatment. And that is going to be with this API Quick Start. Now, if you know the nitrogen cycle, you understand that beneficial bacteria is actually not in the water column. The beneficial bacteria is actually in the filtration. So what is going to provide the beneficial bacteria harbor in this tank is going to be this driftwood as well as the substrate. The plants will hold some of it on their leaves and such and things of that nature. So there will be beneficial bacteria in here that is actually consuming the ammonia, turning that into a nitrite and as well as the other bacteria that will be consuming the nitrite and converting that to a nitrate. Now some of these nitrates will actually be removed by these live plants in here but we will be doing water change. Now that the water is treated we're going to go ahead and add a couple of more plants to this. The first plant we're going to be adding to this tank is going to be some hornwort and hornwort is a great natural nitrate removing plant. And this stuff will actually float at the top, which won't take up a whole lot of swim room for this fish. So we will have that up there, as well as we're gonna go ahead and add a couple of pieces of frog bit. The frog bit is nice and big here. We are gonna come back in here and actually test this water over the next few days. And once we find that this water parameter is perfect for a fish, we are gonna go ahead and get a fish in here. So. We will see you back in a few days in this video. Three days later. Well, it's been a few days since we've taken a look at this bowl and this bowl is doing fantastic. The water is cleared up significantly. The plant growth has started to pick up. If you notice, we already have some new little frog bit and the actual root systems have started to grow back. I've tested this water for nitrites and ammonia and everything is on point. This tank is fully cycled and 100% ready for some fish. Now, the question becomes is what are we gonna put in here? And what I would like to introduce you to, for anybody that is new to my channel and to anybody that's been here for a while, we are gonna be placing in here our very final last rescue betta. And if you don't remember, at one point I had rescued 12 or 15 betta fish from a Petco. They were on clearance, half dead, and we revitalized them, gave them away, put them in different 
homes and I had one left and I decided to keep it in the fish room. And today, this little dude is getting a new home and this is gonna be his new home. So let's go round this dude up and get him into his new home. So I hope you went on to enjoy this video today and hopefully you understand that it is absolutely possible to keep a fish inside of a bowl as long as you truly take care of the fish. As long as you're truly on top of the water parameters, you're on top of the water changes, you're on top of all those kinds of things, it is possible to have a fish actually thrive inside of a fish bowl. I am truly grateful for each and every one of you. If you have not liked the video or you have not subscribed, please do that now as well as go follow us on Instagram. And with all that guys, thank you very much and we will see you next time.